Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Feel free to become members if you so desire. Biblical Creation Basics, Episode 6, Why Chromosome Noah. The best evidence for the biblical model of ancestry and the special creation of Adam and Eve, the first couple, is in our genetics. Episode 5 of Biblical Creation Basics, the mother of us all focused primarily on mitochondrial Eve. There exists overwhelming evidence for the one woman of whom we have all descended from. The one female ancestor of all people on the planet today. What we know about the mitochondrial DNA is exactly what we would expect if the Genesis account of human origins were true. There is no disputing the fact that there is one single mitochondrial DNA ancestor and one single Y chromosomal DNA ancestor of all people today. This episode will focus primarily on Y chromosome Noah. The Bible in Genesis 1:26 says, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Genesis 2, 7 says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. 1 Corinthians 15, 45 says, And so it is written, The first man, Adam, was made a living soul, and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. And our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ made it clear that Adam and Eve were the first two people created just thousands of years ago. Mark 10, 6 says, But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. There exists a unique piece of DNA called the Y chromosome. This DNA compartment is unique in the same way as the mitochondrial DNA, as it is also uniparentally inherited DNA. It is also non-recombining. We get this piece of DNA, the Y chromosome, from our fathers, if we are male. This piece of important DNA is passed on unbroken from father to son. Every single male Y chromosome is nearly identical. There is extremely low genetic variation in the male Y chromosome. And every single Y chromosome in the world can be traced back to one single Y chromosomal ancestor in the not so distant past. From time to time, a mistake occurs. And every time this transpires, a new branch in the family tree is generated. This is where we can examine all the branches in the world and determine that they go back to a single person. This single person is not a chimpanzee, it is a man. And this man lived a few thousand years ago. Who is this? Evolutionists have coined our last Y chromosomal ancestor, Y chromosome Adam. But in fact, it is Y chromosome Noah. Since we now know the Y chromosome mutates fast, a lot faster than the evolutionary community has ever predicted, there ends up being on average, three mutations per generation. And there ends up only being a few hundred mutations separating people worldwide. Then our last Y chromosomal ancestor, Noah, existed just 4,500 years ago. 
This is all inconsistent with human evolution and common ancestry. The human Y chromosome is also very different from the chimpanzee Y chromosome. There are massive size differences between the human and the chimpanzee Y chromosomes, as well as major differences in architecture and gene content. Again, this was not expected by the evolutionary community. As we have seen, one of the best lines of evidence for the first couple, Adam and Eve, is in our genetics. Both mitochondrial Eve and Y chromosome Noah have been discovered by modern science. Our actual common ancestor probably lived as early as 5,000 to 10,000 years ago. All this shows that we are so closely related, more so than we could ever imagine. There is no disputing the fact that there is one single Y chromosome ancestor and one mitochondrial DNA ancestor. This is exactly what the Bible has predicted. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Biblical Creation Moments. If you are not yet subscribed, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And please share around this content as the truth is so important. God bless. As a quick reminder to everyone, hit that like button. It actually does help. Team Standing for Truth is out.